In the last episode Lin Chu decided to frame one of the Chen family members, Lin Chu told Jing that Mr. Wei was Chen Che's eldest son and he should be killed, Jing made an appointment with Chen Che and seduced him, but at that moment members of another family arrived and started to beat him up, but at the last moment Sima Cha appeared to protect Chen Che, he activated a strong technique to find whoever decided to frame Chen Che. Lin Chu was greatly frightened as Sima Chaz easily found him and he urgently needed to think of something. The maid and Lin Chu were sitting in one of the neighboring rooms from Sima Cha, the maid said, what can I do? After all, if they are found now, Lady Cheng Yimou will be in danger. Lin Chu decided to activate the magician's memories and use the illusion. But Xiao grabbed his hands and said, just do as I say. She threw him on the bed, Lin Chu wondered, what did she decide to do? Xiao took off her clothes and said it was all for Mistress Chen Emo. Lin Chu was in a stupor. The spirit of Sima Cha entered their room and was surprised, he said, seriously. I thought the era of people coming here to sin is long gone. Naked Xiao was sitting on Lin Chu, she decided to do so, in order to make Sima Cha think that they are here for another reason. Lin Chu thought, would the maid be willing to do such a thing, so that Lady Cheng Emo would be calm? Sima Cha saw them and thought, isn't this the same husband of Lady Cheng Emo and her personal maid? At that moment, she passionately kissed Lin Chu. Sima Cha watched this and was puzzled, how could this happen? At this time, the maid was playing out her role as a mistress in a very believable way. Sima Cha thought, interestingly enough, it's a pity that the real Mr. Wei I'm looking for wasn't here. But now I have some dirt in my hands against our family's son-in-law. The next day, Chen Che summoned Lin Chu to his office and asked him, Lin Chu, where were you yesterday afternoon? He replied that he was working around the house, Xiao can confirm that. Chen Che exclaimed, you're lying. Yesterday afternoon you were at the Longhao Hotel, Sima Che accidentally found you while following Mr. Wei's trail. Lin Chu said, okay, you got me figured out, Mr. Wei is me. Chen Che didn't believe him and laughed, he said, do you think I'm not aware of your relationship with Xiao? Sima Cha said, I'm very curious, how will Mrs. Chen Emo react to her husband cheating with her maid? Lin Chu said if Chen Emo finds out, she'll kick me out of the house. Chen Che grabbed him by the shirt and said, all right, let's keep it a secret, but in return, you will spy on Ching Emo for us. Do as I say. Lin Che agreed to his terms and left. Chen Che asked Sima Cha how the Jing family, who beat me, was going to pay for the damage they brought me. Sima replied that they asked for forgiveness and offered a billion as compensation, besides, I told them about your plans and they too are turned against Chen Emo after what happened, so they gladly agreed. Chen Che smiled wickedly and said, Chen Emo you are surrounded, let's see what you will do now. After three hours, Lin Chu was approached by Zhao's. Maiden asked, Chen Che suspected you of being Mr. Wei. He said there was no suspicion. Xiao looked at him and said, just forget what happened between us and never remember again. Don't worry, I promise it won't happen. This incident made it clear to me that without spiritual power, it's better to stay in the shadows at Cheng's house and keep a low profile. Xiao said, but you have such opportunities, and here you're just wasting your strength. Lin Chu replied that he would write a short story on behalf of Mr. Wei, which he would publish and become popular and call it, Let the Conquests of the Whole World. Lin Chu spent several days writing the novella and was supposed to finish it in a couple of days. As he was writing, he realized that he could combine the memories of experts, for example, he could apply the knowledge of a poison expert and a gunsmith and could create a combined weapon, a poison crossbow. At that moment someone knocked on his door. Outside the door was Sima Cha. Lin Chu opened the door and asked, what do you want? He said, little brother, I think you have great potential that will take you to the top. Lin Chu was puzzled, did Sima Cha really know that I was Mr. Wei? Don't worry about it, I used my spiritual power to spot you with that maid the other day. That's when I knew we could be friends. What? Friends? Sung Cha took him by the shoulder and said, I'm inviting you to join the cult of the gifted, 
there's a lot of talented people there. I'm sure you'll like it. Lin Chu said in surprise, I'm gifted. I'm nothing more than a failed son-in-law. Sung Cha hugged him and said, Brother Lin Chu, you're so humble. The way you pull it off makes you worthy in my eyes. Lin Chu didn't say confidently, I guess you're right. He said the initiation is in three days. Our organization is a secret organization, so we have a membership fee of one million, so don't forget the money. Lin Chu thought to himself, I guess I'll just be cheated for one million. A few hours later Lin Chu disguised himself as Mr. Wei, Jing came to him and said, Mr. Wei, what should I do now? The Jing family realized that I was involved in that Chen Che frame-up and blocked my accounts. Lin Chu looked at her and said, is that so? At least you won't have the dilemma of which family you belong to, but don't worry, you can still work under Mrs. Ching Mo. It's all a planned act, from asking you to lie to Ching Che to the hotel, you knew this would happen. If you don't want to, you're still a beautiful girl and can easily sell your body. Everything you got from the Jing family, the Ching family can provide. But you'll have to give me half of your monthly salary. From now on, you'll be my living ATM machine. At that moment, Ryoko said my help ends here, Ching doesn't bother you anymore. Can you give me the antidote now? He took out the antidote and gave it to Ryoko. She took it and said, what's the catch? You're just giving it to me like that. Lin Chu said there's no catch. Ryoko took the antidote and at that moment Lin Chu said honestly, I didn't even poison you. Ryoko got angry and activated her aura. Suddenly Lin Chu activated the poison expert and whistled. After the whistle, all of Ryoko's spiritual aura began to disappear. Lin Chu said, now the poison has worked, it contains a spiritual power disperser and therefore temporarily blocks her. On my whistle, she's blocked for five minutes. She was angry at him again, but without the spiritual aura, she couldn't do anything. Without spiritual power, you are such a small girl. She said, Lin Chu don't forget how screwed up you are, I have conquered all of Tokyo as a master at the soul birth level, no man dare to lay a finger on me. Lin Chu took her hand and said so what? Suddenly he kissed her and said, now I touched you and kissed you, what are you going to do to me? She looked at him and said, sooner or later, I swear, you will answer for everything. At this time Cheng came to Chen Mo, Chen Mo asked how Master Wei managed to change her mind and join us. Cheng said that she promised Mr. Wei not to disclose information, Mr. Wei has done a lot for you, maybe he is someone in your inner circle. Mrs. Cheng Mo wondered, from a close circle. At this time Lin Chu was lying on the bed reading a book, suddenly Ryoko came up to him. He asked her in surprise, what are you doing? You don't want Chen Mo to find out about your second identity, do you? Give me the antidote or I'll tell Lady Chen Mo everything. At that moment, Chen Mo was walking by Lin Chu's room and heard shouting. She entered the room and Lin Chu saw her. He said, Sister Ryoko don't, we can't be together. I have Chen Mo and she's the only one I love. Lin Chu got out of bed and jumped up to Chen Mo. He told her, I'm not interested in Ryoko, don't believe everything she says. Cham Mo said she believed him, because Ryoko is not a type of girl. At this point she took his hand and said, now be honest with me, Mr. Wei is that you? Lin Chu you're the one who helped me get my license in the film industry department and put Chin Che in his place, aren't you? Ryoko said, that's right, Lin Chu has been lying to you all this time. Chen Mo looked at her and told her to shut up, even if he lied to me, it's only for good and it's none of your business. Ryoko wondered, how so? Shouldn't she go to my side and be against Lin Chu? Lin Chu said, you're wrong I'm not Mr. Wei. I'm not wrong, several times you've helped me stealthily. I've always been surrounded by the enemy and only you've always been on my side since I first met you. Chen Mo began to remember events that were five years ago, when her father decided to marry her off, she was against it and broke off relations with her family and when Chen Mo returned to school she began to be humiliated. As it turned out, Chen Che came to school a day before, 
gave money to her classmates and told them to humiliate Chen Emo in order for her to return home. The classmates took the money and said he could rely on them. They approached Chen Emo and told her to get the hell out of school as no classmate was happy to see her. But Chen Emo was interceded for by Lin Chu and said to the classmate, Shut your mouth, who are you to speak for everyone? The classmate said that Chen Che entrusted her with this responsibility, do you want to go against Chen's family? Lin Chu replied, Master Chen is a piece of shit, but what motivates you? A classmate said that you will regret it. At this moment, Chen Emo looked at Lin Chu and asked, do you have a girlfriend? Hao was puzzled and said he didn't have a girlfriend. Chen Emo said that after everything, not only will I not return home but I will become your girlfriend. Since then, the attempts to marry me off stopped, during college we got closer and closer, but we didn't have any money, but we had fun and even ate street food. Looking back, you're the one who brought my college days to life. And that's why I chose to give up the most important things in life for you. For your 20th birthday, I prepared a special gift for you. Cheng Yimou covered his eyes with a blindfold and told him to come into the room, he took off the blindfold and was shocked at what he saw, there was Cheng Yimou in a cat costume with a bow on the bed in front of him. This was the end of the memories and Cheng Yimou said, I thought about it for a long time, it should be someone from my close circle and you look like the most. Ling Chu said, Cheng Yimou, this is all a misunderstanding, it's only recently that you thought I was a total nobody, what kind of Mr. Wei am I? Chen Emo slapped him and said, Tell me, where were you when I first met him and when Chen Che attacked? I know you weren't home. Ling Chu said he went shopping with Xiao, you can ask her yourself. Really? Then I'll call her right now, I don't think she would dare lie to me. Suddenly Mr. Wei appeared in front of the window, he said, Miss Chen, heard you were looking for me. She turned around in surprise and said, Mr. Wei. Chen Mo looked at Lin Chu and said, so you're not Mr. Wei. Suddenly Mr. Wei was about to leave, but Chen Mo asked him to stop. She ran out of the room and went outside, Mr. Wei wait. Mr. Wei's costume was disguised as a maid Xiao, Lin Chu had attached a microphone to her in advance and spoke to her from the room. But Lin Chu realized that this would not be enough and decided to take a risk, he went outside and said that Mr. Wei should show his identity. He ran and purposely tripped and pushed Chen Mo to the fake Mr. Wei, he caught her and at that moment Lin Che on the microphone said I love you Chen Mo. The maid in Mr. Wei's costume was puzzled, because they didn't agree on anything. Chen Mo won't suspect Lin Chu anymore. Lin Chu decided to play along and said, Hey you devil in the cape, you're talking to my wife now. Cheng Yimou asked him not to be angry. He said, I can't compete with a talented man like Mr. Wei, I'm no match for him, I understand if you like him better. Chen Yimou said, never mind, I just wanted to know who he was. Lin Chu looked at her with tears and said, Chen Yimou, do you want to leave me? She replied, don't worry, I married you, not Mr. Wei, I was wrong about you, but from now on I'll be on your side. You're the only one I can count on now, we have to work together. The next day, Cheng Yemo and Lin Chu went to the film industry office together. The employees were surprised, who goes with Miss Cheng Yemo? A friend replied that it was her husband. Who would have thought that the lady would like such men, maybe he's good at other things. Cheng Yemo went into Cheng Mo's office to give him the company records that Mr. Wei helped provide, she asked him to check them, there was nothing suspicious in them. Lin Chu began to check the documentation, he activated the professional auditor mode. Chen Emo said that she had checked these documents many times and she was left with the feeling that there was something wrong with the documents, even with Cheng Jing the situation in the company was getting worse, if things continued like this, the company would soon go bankrupt. Lin Chu thought, her intuition didn't fail her, everything looked like the movement of assets within the company. They've covered their tracks well and would have disappeared without a trace, but if they hadn't bumped into an expert like me. There's a lot of suspicious stuff here, and it's all roaches. Doing. Chen Emo asked him, did you find something? Lin Chu said, unfortunately no, I almost didn't understand anything. 
She said, I just wanted to hear an alternative point of view. If that's all, I'll be going, I have a lot of important things to do that would be lost without me. At this time, Ryoko was holding Roach's leg on the roof of the building. Roach asked who she was and she messed with the wrong person, if his people found out she would be in trouble. Lin Chu stepped in as Mr. Wei and told him if he didn't answer his questions, he would fly a rock to the bottom. Roach asked to let him go, because he's just an office worker like any other. Lin Chu told Ryoko to let him go, she let go and Roach fell down, but at the last moment she activated her spiritual aura and caught him. He said, you're crazy, how could you just let go like that? Lin Chu asked him a question, who sent informants to Chen's company? Roach replied, you must have suspected Chen Chen, but he's only my boss, Jing Yin was in charge, it was his doing. Jing Yin? How did he pull it off and who else did he send? I guess you've heard that Jing Yin worked for the Cheng Mo family headquarters, before he left he infiltrated the support department and bugged all the offices. We were only told about our missions, we don't interact, so I'm not aware of the others. If I hadn't made Chen Mo fire him back then, the Chen family would have been destroyed, but even then Jing Yin managed to launch moles into the company, if things continue in this vein, soon Chen company will go bankrupt. And with this silly showdown, where Chen Che only thinks about how he can corner Chen Emo once again, the Chen family wouldn't stand a chance. It looks like I'll have to be involved. In the evening at the Chen residence, Lin Chu had published the novel The Way of Conquering the Whole World and all that was left was to wait for the reader's feedback. At this point, Maid Xiao came up to him and asked if it was true that Jing Yin had spread moles at the Chen family headquarters. Lin Chu replied that there were too many of them. So Madam is in danger. You must help her. I'll do my best, but the key is Jing Yin, only he knows everything. Xiao offered to grab him. Ryoko watched them and thought, is there something between them? I think their relationship has gotten a lot better. Lin Chu said, I'll start an investigation, Jing Yin is also prudent and always surrounded by at least 10 guards, the weak ones are masters in the core formation stage, Ryoko can you handle them? I'll try but I can't guarantee. Lin Chu began to think, as he needed to find Jing Yin's weaknesses and he remembered, Chen Mo's weakness was Jing Yin. At this time, Chen Mo was lying in her room and sleeping, at this moment Lin Chu entered her room. Chen Mo thought, what is he doing here so late? He should be sleeping in his room, what is he doing in my room? Can't he handle anything? Should we wake up and tell him? Not that we wouldn't do that, but to be like this. What about dinner and talking and foreplay? But Lin Chu took her phone and texted Jing Ying on behalf of Cheng Emo and suggested we meet tomorrow, he agreed. He put the phone down and left. Chen Emo thought, whatever, if he's too pushy, he'll get it in the eye. What? He just left, not even an encroachment. The next day Lin Chu and Xiao were talking about the plan of action, Xiao said, I know but it's better than telling Madam the whole truth. Nevertheless, I have a feeling it won't go that smoothly. Ryoko said, don't worry, as long as your sister's with you, it'll be fine. Even in the worst case scenario, if there are a few masters at the soul birth stage, I'll have no problem dealing with them. Lin Chu said, this time I'll go without a disguise, he won't dare to do anything against a member of the Qing family and of course I'll record our sweet talk. If we manage to record a confession about his dark deeds, my father-in-law won't let him get away with it, the war between the Chen and Jing families will definitely start. Jing Yin arrived at the restaurant, he was excited as Chen Mo asked him out for the first time. He opened the door. At the table sat Lin Chu, he said, here we meet Jing Yin. He was puzzled, he asked, where is Chen Mo? Lin Chu said she's not coming, I invited you here to talk to you about something. Jing Yin exclaimed, stop following me, I just want your wife. Lin Chu took out a tape recorder and said, can we go into more detail from now on? Ling Chu played the tape, where Roach confessed to everything and said it was all Jing Yin's fault and that he had bugged the headquarters. Jing Yin was shocked, is this Roach a traitor? Ling Chu asked, whose idea was this? 
Your dads. Wanted to destroy the Qin family. By installing a large number of spies on all the Qin companies, it must have taken a lot of time and effort. Jing Yin was furious, he activated his spiritual aura and said that dad had nothing to do with it, it was my plan that I spent five years on. Everything you found out was entirely my idea. And now that you know everything, there's no point in me pretending anymore, I've pretended to be a stupid simpleton for too long and actually suppressed my true aura, I went through a lot to build an almost perfect base for the soul birth stage. Lin Chu was shocked by his strength, he couldn't even move, he only relied on Ryoko's strength. Suddenly, Jing Yin was attacked by Ryoko, but he grabbed her neck and told her that she was too weak to stop him. Ryoko demanded that he let her go. But Jing was furious and wanted to kill her, but at the last moment Lin Chu jumped on him and Jing Yin missed with a punch. Ryoko thought, am I going to die here at the hand of this slug? If I'd known sooner, I'd have had a bigger lunch. Ling Chu told him if you hurt me, you'll never see Ching Imo again. Jing said I was only pretending, how can you put a woman and the possibility of destroying an entire family on the same level? At this time, Zhao's maid came running to Cheng Imo and told her not to go slowly to Longgang restaurant, because Lin Chu is in danger now. If you don't hurry, Jing Yin will kill him. She wondered how could this happen. Notify all four guards of the Chen family and send them to Longgang immediately. At that time, Jing Yin twisted Lin Chu with his aura. Ryoko was lying unconscious. Jing Yin said, I've been planning this for five years, ever since Chen Mo disowned her family. According to my original plan, I was supposed to save her, the poor girl who was rejected by all the school and her own family. Then I would take my rightful place as son-in-law in the Qing family. He swung around and hit Lin Chu with all his might. But now you'll disappear forever, Lin Chu didn't know what to say. But at the last moment, his soul left his body and went to heaven, he wondered, why am I here again? A so white-haired girl came up to him and said, just darling, 